consider the manometer in the figure. If the specific weight of fluid B is 20 kN per cubic meter, what is the absolute pressure in kilopascal indicated by the manometer when the local atmospheric pressure is 720 millimeter of mercury? The formula for manometer in this kind of system, the pressure on the left side exerted in the le left side is equal to the pressure exerted on the right side. This pressure must be downward, downward pressure. Every pressure here must be downward pressure. Okay. So, we have four different types exerted pressure in this system. So, first, identify more natin. This piece of one is our absolute pressure. Yung hinahanap natin. Piece of one. Second is the fluid A. Third is fluid B. Yung pang-apat natin is the atmospheric pressure. So, meron tayong apat na pressure sa system na to. So, always remember that pressure is equal to the density times gravity times height. That's the equation. Kasi sa problem, it's always include the fluid here. Kaya kailangan din natin tandaan ito. First, lagay natin yung mga ibang given. Given mo tayo. Absolute pressure is equal to 720 millimeter of mercury. Then, yung ating specific weight. Given naman yan, specific weight is for fluid B is equal to 20 kilonewton per meter cube. Next is the specific weight, weight of fluid A which is 10 kilonewton per meter cube. And for the height, of course, kailangan natin yung may height dito sa formula natin. Here, put a reference line here. For this fluid A, the fluid A, this portion, this portion, exerted pressure. Ayan. We sabihin yan, meron siyang downward pressure here. And dito, ang height nito is 5 cm. So, ibig sabihin, the height of our fluid A dito, na kailangan natin sa pag-solve ng pressure, is 5 cm. Same, ganun din naman yung alawetin dito sa fluid B. So, po tayo ng reference line. This section, pag-provide din yan siya ng pressure. Here. The height for the fluid B is equal to 15 cm. We're looking for the absolute pressure here in QPA. So, we need to convert this mmHg to kilopascal. So, convert that. So, we have here 1 millimeter of mercury is equal to 0 0.1333322 kilopascal. So, multiply lang natin. Equal nyan is 95.992 kilopascal. So, nasa kilopascal na siya. So, uniform na siya. So, okay na yan. Pagamitin na natin yan may sa pag-solve. Then, centimeter. So, kailangan natin dito lahat nasa meter. So, convert din natin to to meter. 0 0.15 meter. Also, this. So. So, dito meron tayong 1 kilopascal is equal to 1 newton per meter cube.
So, always tandaan natin yan. Kasi kailangan natin yan sa pag-solve mamaya. We're given a, this specific weight. Nasa kilo newton siya. So, kailangan natin tong conversion na to mamaya. Sa pag-solve. Para ma-convert natin sa lahat sa kilo pascal. So, the pressure inserted to the left is equal to the pressure inserted to the right. So, pressure on the left, as we can see, is only P sub 1 and on the right side, fluid A, fluid B, and atmospheric pressure. So, paano natin malalaman kung nasa left ba siya o nasa right? We're only based on the fluid mismo. So, ito lang siya fluid. Dito lang siya portion na to. For fluid A, ito lang siya sa portion na to. Left side niya ito. And kanyang right side ay dito. So, yung kanyang right side ay mayroong pressure. Itong section na to, exert siya ng pressure. So, fluid A is in the pressure in the right side. Same as pressure B, it's left side here. This is the left side. And it's the right side niya. So, mapansin niyo yung right side niya, it's the reference line. Kasi dito siya nagsimula. So, doon ka maglalagay ng reference line. Okay? So, lalagay natin reference line. Then, this portion, itong sobra na to, doon siya nag-end. So, ito yung shade natin na portion kung saan yun yung mag -e exert ng force. So, okay? It's always downward yan. So, force na yan dito. So, makapansin natin, nasa right din siya. Hindi siya nasa left. Kasi yung left niya ito. So, walang ano, walang force na dito. Baga, dito siya nag-exert ng force. So, ito yung sobra niya. So, this section, exerted force down wide. So, same as the atmospheric pressure. So, nasa right din siya. So, right din to. Always naman yan. So, we have our formula now. P sub 1 is equal to the atmospheric pressure. Nasa right side, duwan niya siya. Nasa right side siya. Atmospheric pressure plus the pressure of the fluid A plus the pressure of the fluid B. So, simply for the equation natin, katulad nga yan ito, pressure nito. So, Pressure A is equal to density times gravity times height plus pressure B. So, density, gravity times height. So, but we were given a specific weight. So, a specific weight is equal to the density times gravity. So, substitute natin to, to, the, to the equation. Kapalit natin itong density times gravity. We have P sub 1 is equal to atmospheric pressure plus the specific weight times height ng A plus specific weight ng B times height of the B. So, dito pwede na tayo mag-substitute ng mga given natin. So, substitute tayo. P sub 1 equal to 95.992 kilopascal. So, ito yan siya. Plus, our specific weight of A, fluid A, is 10 kN per meter cube times the height, 0 0.5 meter. Plus, our specific weight of fluid B, 20 kN meter per cube times 0 0.15 meter. So, compute natin this side. Itong nasa kilonewton meter cube times meter. So, result nyan is so, 3.5 kilonewton per meter cube. Multiply natin then sum this same unit will equal to 3.5 kilonewton per meter times Conversion natin, 1 kilopascal is equal to 1 kilonewton per meter squared. Kilopascal na sila. Sum natin sila, 95.92 kilopascal plus 
3.5 kilopascal is equal to 99.492 kilopascal. So this is our final answer or simply equal to absolute pressure is equal to 99.5 kilopascal. So this is our absolute pressure here.